white noise now. Already. <coughs> right, I'm gonna read you an article that I wrote for the um, I sent to the British Medical Journal, the World Health Organization, um, a few MPs, MEPs, and around the various cannabis sites. The use of cannabis as a ma medicine has been rigor rigorously scientifically tested due to production restrictions and other federal regulation evidence that has been wrongly prohibited by the government of various countries. There is undisputed scientific evidence and medical evidence providing proving cannabis can be used to kill cancer cells, reduce seizures including ground mal, one of the most violent type, as a treatment for Parkinson's, MS, PTSD, ADHD, sickle cell, and the improvement in appetite for people with anorexia, bulimia, AIDS, and HIV. To treat chronic pain and muscle spasms, nerve damage and neuro neurological problems. Dravat and Lennox Grestert syndrome. It is recommended that decriminalisation and regulation will answer any unethical questions of safety and authenticity. Other companies like GW Pharmaceuticals have been producing synthesized versions from cannabis products such as Sativex, Epidelex and Marinol. So why are they saying that there is no medical use when obviously there are thousands? It is not funny where I did some of my original research was based on well some of it was based on this journal that I've got here it's called the chemical constituents of marijuana the complex mixture of natural cannabinoids and if we have a flick to towards the back here the acknowledgements Um, Adams, R. Hunt, M. Clark, J. H. J. H. 1940 Structure of Cannabinoid, a project product isolated from marijuana extracts of Minnesota wild hemp. Journal of the American Chemical Society. Um, I've done research on the. Federal Drugs Agency, the Drugs Enforcement Agency, um, quite a few companies over here. Um, but going back to this, big pharmaceutical companies which have supposedly cured cancer and many other problems caused by tobacco, alcohol and genetically modified foods, crops and seeds produced by Monsanto. Bayer and Syngenta. Too much bad fats and sugars along with the exhaust emissions but instead they make profit from unethical processes, practices that have caused major health problems and countless deaths worldwide for decades. While exercise plays a huge part in healthy life, maintaining good blood flow that transports nutrients around the body along with oxygenated blood, strengthening our heart and lungs whilst increasing lung capacity. But while we are doing this, with so many contaminants in the atmosphere, we have to be mindful that of these contaminants cause lung, lung heart problems. Our ecosystem is at huge risk due to drilling for oil, fracking, nuclear power leaks and weapon production as well as undersea mining that they're currently doing. 
with contaminated groundwater being expelled from oil production and fracking sites, cause, causing cancers which are mutated cells from t contaminants, whether it's contaminants in the water, contaminants in the atmosphere, or contaminants in the food. If inhaled or spilt on skill, skin, the massive fallout has not been yet fully quantified or evidence from sites around California tar sands and different frack and nuclear power storage and dumping ground sites worldwide show us the growing disaster for both plant, wildlife and water and ultimately us. I'm calling for new health and environmental laws to be introduced to protect our world, the people in it and the generations to come protecting us from all these practices that destroy water seeds, land, air and food safety standards that li label GM foods eventually, hopefully, getting rid of these genetically modified foods and organisms that when we eat these genetically modified foods it's, it's not a full food Therefore, it's not offering us full nutritional balance. Um, if you take example the corn that has been genetically modified for years, the you know the carbohydrates don't break down the way they should in the human body. The you know the proteins don't break down. All this is bad for us, right? I've signed a document researched and provided by Dr. Simon Dudley for 20 Wolverhampton and affiliated worldwide partners because obviously I haven't just made the information up, the information has been round and round and collated and I've just condensed it all and here it is. This is my policy for the UK and whatever else, whatever governments want to implement this, they can do if they want. Um, but I read this on the 17th of May 2016 and I sent these, this round the same list of contacts that I've, I've sent the original paper to. It is unfair on cannabis patients that the current laws seem to exclude our human right to choose a medicine that is proven to work worldwide from I mean I've done research back to 500 BC so cannabis has never ever killed anyone in the history whereas the legalized tobacco tobacco kills tens of thousands per year in each country likewise with pharmaceutical drugs likewise with um, alcohol but they're all legal for some reason all right let's get back to here all right it is unfair on cannabis patients that the current law seems to exclude our human rights to choose a medicine that is proven to work worldwide for cancers including brain pancreatic and colon colon, Parkinson's, sickle cell, PTSD, ADHD, anorexia, MS, multi-neuron disease, neurological imbalances, mild to chronic pain relief, menstrual cramps, sleep disorders including sleep apnea, seizures including, including grand mal, the most severe, muscle wasting, Crohn's, fibromyalgia, lupus, and we've got a few more that have just the research is carrying on all the time into the many compounds of can, healing compounds of cannabis to include four plants in vegetable vegetative vegetative growth four plants in flower and four, four plants in drying or curing 12 or total in 12 per person Social clubs that are limited to 100 members, including cafe club members, can grow 
for and with the permission of members. So if the my idea is if the members don't want to grow themselves then providing the cafe club or cannabis club has got enough room they can grow for them for you know a certain percentage to be worked out later. Um, growth of plants for lawful production, packaging, marketing, sale, purchase, possession and consumption of the natural herb cannabis can be of a certain standard to retain medical quality i.e. organic to be grown with for example coconut, aloe, aloe, barley and seaweed that's for example um, but there's many brands out there now they're getting more organic as time goes on and I have seen aloe out there um, I've not yet seen coconut flakes um, I've seen barley and seaweed which I use myself um, it re really works well on tomatoes and weed plants um, Social clubs to include advice on our body's endocannabinoid system which directly affects our body's health. I'm doing a talk um, this Saturday in Wolverhampton at the Wild Boats Cafe at 2 o'clock and anyone who's interested in the body's endocannabinoid system and how pollutants have affected our bodies and um, how nutrients work um, come down and have a listen ok I uh, will include classes on how to grow cannabis extraction into oils, butters, cooking with and various therapeutic products I've already got a few videos well, I had to look today, um, I was su pleasantly surprised how many I've put up there in total. Um, there's 32 there, um, a lot of them are on how to extract oils and butters and there's a few like chocolate recipes on there as well, treats. Um, okay, we'll include organic feeding and the various stages of growth the light spec various light spectrums, um, soil minerals and microbes, drying and curing and we'll do social events and promotion as well. And as I say, I'll read that on the seventeenth of May. Um, as far as I know, as far as I've read so far and what I've seen on the various sites CBD products are available in the UK, UK and most of the world. Um, we're just waiting for the law to get its, well, the government to get its medical head on, you know, to um, actually recognise that this is the medical miracle that we portray it as. Okay guys, um, back after two and a half hours, um, turning the consistency and the colour and the aroma that I want. Okay. We're going to turn this off, leave it to cool and then I'll be back to put it in the jar. So that goes off the heat with the top on. Electric off. Okay, time for a spliff. Okay guys, um right. I've just started to drain the 
the leaves and the stems away from the oil and I'm just going to do the last bit. 